guys, welcome to PB Garage. Today we're going to have a look at trying to communicate with all of our uh, various control modules in this Porsche Cayenne 957 that I just picked up. The reason we're going to have a look at this is because uh, we use VCDS here at PB Garage because we do a lot of Volkswagen Audi stuff. So VCDS is an indispensable tool for us. And when I go to hook it up to the 957 here, I get communication with some of the modules, like the engine control module uh, I managed to communicate with, but some of the other modules, such as the instruments, I haven't been able to communicate with, which means I haven't been able to reset my service indicator, and there doesn't seem to be a way to do it uh, with the buttons on the dash, unfortunately, for this model. So every time I start the car, I have a service reminder uh, on the dash, and I don't really like that because the service is up to date. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an auto scan. What I've been doing with VCDS is plugging it in to the OBD port just like you normally would and then I do an auto scan. There's one in the drop down list. Uh, the 7L chassis is a Volkswagen Touareg 03 to 06. Don't ask me why. That one seems to work and scan some of the modules and uh, some of the other Touaregs and Q7 things like that don't seem to work. I don't know why. but. I'm gonna start with doing an auto scan with that so that we have that to compare later. And then right now we'll just jump over to the garage and have a look at some of the hardware that we need to uh, create if you want in order to try and open up some more of that communication. Okay, so how are we gonna accomplish this? Well, I bought this splitter off of Amazon and basically all this is, uh, is just an OBD connector. So this would be similar to the connector for VCDS, this end would plug into the OBD connector on the car. And then I've got these two uh, female ends that I can plug VCDS into one end. And then what I'm gonna do with the extra end is actually just jumper some of these, wi these wires or some of these plugs together, these terminals. Where I came up with this was, I mean, not my original invention, obviously, uh, digging through some VCDS help forums on the internet, on the Ross Tech site there. I was able to figure out that some of the Porsche information comes through on pin number three of this plug, some of the information comes through on pin seven, and some comes through on pin 15. Now, according to that help thread, guys just jumpered those three together and were able to communicate with the other modules in the car. So that's what we're gonna try and do right now. The beauty of having this uh, sort of two into one splitter is I can have my normal just sort of jumper here uh, between the OBD port on the car and VCDS cable and then I have the extra port here that I can physically jumper those pins without having to cut or modify anything. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna make myself some little jumpers for this and set that up. Now, I looked up the OBD pinouts online just to confirm. Luckily, I do have the numbers printed out on this um, little cable here, so I'm going to go into pin 7, pin 3, and pin 15 just like that. So I've got my little jumper set up here. Communications gonna happen between pin three, seven, and 15. I'm looking at the numbers here to be sure, but you guys should be able to see that. Um, basically we're second pin in from the right on both of those and third pin in from the left on that guy there. So let's go try it out. So this is the part of the test where we cross our fingers and hope we don't turn <laughs> the Cayenne into a brick right now. But basically what I've got to set up, I'll show you guys. Okay, so if we have a look down here, you can see I've got my jump leads here in the one female port. I've got my VCDS cable hooked up to the other female port. And then I've got the male port plugged into the OBD on the car just in here. So if we open up VCDS here, and I'm just going to do a quick test and make sure I can still connect to my engine control module. And I can, that's awesome. So engine control module, no problem, that's just as before. Now the instruments I wasn't able to connect to before. Let's see if we can get into it. Okay, sweet. So we have, we are able to communicate now. Uh, which we weren't able to communicate with the instruments before. So that is pretty cool. I don't know if I can get in here and do anything 
in terms of my service interval, let's try and do a service reminder reset this way. No label file available for this ECU. Okay. Huh, interesting. Okay. So there may or may not be a way to reset it. The good news is I'm able to communicate with the modules now. Um, I'm tempted to do a scan and see what all modules I can get. All right, great. So I've got my auto scan running now on uh, the whole vehicle, the same one as before. The drop down menu, I selected 7L, which is the Volkswagen Touareg 2003 to 2006. And I'm running through the auto scan to pick up any additional modules. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to hop over to my computer and have a look at the two different printouts from the auto scan and see how many extra modules we've picked up with our little jumper cable. Okay, so just as we look through our log files here, we can start to compare. So both jumper and no jumper, we've got uh, access to the engine control, the ABS brakes, and address five, accessory start authorization, whatever, I don't know if that's immobilizer or what that is. Uh, both of them HVAC, both of them central electronics, both of them airbags, looks like both have steering wheel. Address 17, we did not get with the no jumper and that we knew, that's our instruments. Um, we have 19 on both, which is the CAN gateway. Uh, let's see what else. So we got, we got access to address 22, all wheel drive system. So that's like our transfer case, I guess. Um, then what else? Both of them have 36. We also got 46, which is the central convenience. Uh, tire pressure for both, yep. Address, let's see what else we got. 6D and 76 on both, okay. So there you have it guys, by using our little jumper lead there, we were able to gain access to the instruments, uh, the all wheel drive system, and the central convenience modules, which we didn't have access to before without the little jumper. I was hoping we would get access to a little bit more stuff, or in particular, I was hoping that by getting access to the instrument control module that we would be able to reset the service indicator. I haven't figured out how to do that quite yet. Now that we're into the module though, I'm hopeful if I get on the internet and do some research, I might be able to figure out how to change the coding to remove the uh, service reset warning or something like that so I don't have to purchase a more expensive Porsche specific diagnostic tool to do that. Um, in the meantime, you know, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this and I will let you know if I get any more information about it. Thanks guys. Okay, so I've been messing around through the modules here. Here's one that uh, I couldn't open before and I can now. I'm really excited because I can do some adaptations in it. This is the central convenience module. So if I go into adaptation, now I don't have any uh, default ones and I don't want to mess with the coding because I don't know what I'm up to there. But if we go through here, channel two, auto lock, it was on and we go off. Beautiful, because I absolutely hate it. It drives me nuts.